The fourth leg, pulses began to quicken when he started with a ton 80. Surely he couldn't. Could he? There's a lovely tempo to the game, and that produces great darts. Yeah, it's easy on the eye, isn't it? Of course. Darts like this most definitely are. That's his third maximum. That's in. Treble 15, he's missed. How he was going for that one. He was really gunning for it. The big bonus prize for the nine darter. He's gutted there. I think something happened in the crowd. I think somebody just got too excited. Well, it wasn't to be a moment of history, but Warren did win the first set. We'll join it in the fourth. He's leading two sets to one, one leg to nil. And your commentators are John Rawling and Tony O'Shea. Good match, this one. Really entertaining match to round off another excellent day's entertainment for the Lakeside crowd. Again, there's noise from the crowd which distracts Harms. Got to block that out. Easier said than done, though, sometimes. Probably don't mean to do it, it's probably getting excited. Turn into a fantastic match. Five 180s 100. in the match, four of them to Wayne Warren. Oh, brilliant. Leaves him 61. Did he go 25 here? He's played the percentages perfectly there, losing double A. For a 10 dart, no less. Well, this would equal the best of the tournament. Double four now. Eight. Well, we've seen 101 go out from Wayne Warren. Can Harms do the same? A treble 19 and a double 12 to do it. He certainly can. He's played far and got. That was a terrific check out from Harms, who'd been annoyed by the crowd at an earlier stage in that leg. And a nice bit of sportsmanship as well there. Did you see the little uh, pat on the back for that finish from, uh, from Warren? Well, that underlines what you said, doesn't it? There we go. Good lad. Just Mr. Tendar to sees him take that out and still pats him on the back. 85. Well, the Welsh contingent will still be optimistic. There's the big scores that we've had so far. 58. Not quite as emphatically Warren's direction as it was earlier. Harms has had a heck of a lot of hundreds. 100. Warren just outscoring him in terms of averages, 95 to 93. 59. Oh, terrific darts, just when he needed them again, Tony. I'm impressed with the way he's playing tonight. Really impressed. If he'd have took that 10 data out, he'd have been sat here 41. for the match. Shows how important that kill was. Oh, good darts. 2 1, and he only needs oh, one more leg. Pressure's on Game Wesley Harms now. If he doesn't do it this leg, he's got the start in the very last leg of the set. 45. All three of them were superb in the front dance. 
How will Wesley Harms' nerve hold? One hold That's a pretty good start. Two. This is a Welsh actress, Shelley Reese, watching on, I think. There she is. Big noise in a Welsh soap opera on S4C. I won't attempt to pronounce it because people only ridicule me. Got enough of that it is without without going for the Welsh pronunciations. One hundred and forty. He can do it next visit. He can win this match now, Wayne Warren. One twenty-six. What do you reckon, Tony? Nineteen's for definite. So he needs that treble now, which will leave him a bullseye. He's got a choice now, 88. 58. Harms 157. That's the treble 20, treble 19 now. Mm, couldn't do it, 18. 99. So 68 for the match now. 16 for double. Yeah, it is. Game and there it is! He has done it! It's Welsh celebration time, family celebration time. The underdog has pulled it off. The old boy of the match, 55-year-old Wayne Warren, takes the congratulations of a small legion of supporters. And it is disappointment for Wesley Harms, who didn't play at all badly, but Wayne Warren was a little bit inspired tonight, and he has gone through as the winner, taking this one by three sets to one. Congratulations sportingly from Wesley Harms, but what a performance from the Welshman, and that will be mighty popular throughout Wales and throughout the supporters here at the lakeside.